Hello and welcome to Okayama, the full course with the Mazda. We're doing uh, the SimLab production car challenge. It's multi-class. Um, I lost a really good race uh, in the in the SimLab series when my computer exploded. So um, hopefully we get another good one here today. We, uh, we're sparse on the Mustangs. Got plenty of Mazdas, which uh, I'm included in there. Fair bit of Jettas, and just a pair of Solstice. Pontiac Solstice. <laughs> so we're in the popular class, as usual. The Mazdas are overwhelming everything. But um, we're also one of only. Actually, before I go out there. Uh... Hmm, now I'll tell you what, I'm just going to leave the fuel as it is. I don't want to get myself confused. Um, I took a tick out of the fuel, but uh, no, okay, I've not had any, don't have any setup in today, other than default and a tiny little tick off of the, uh, <laughs> of the fuel, because I don't know how to do that either. But uh, practice times were okay. Probably still get blown out <laughs> by the guys that have setups and stuff, but uh, I think we'll be fine. Actually, you know what? Let me check something real quick. Um, do we have which green, green, baseline green. setup? High racing setups. Let's get that advanced on here. I normally don't like. I don't like switching okay, setups, but uh, this should be pretty similar. Just a little bit more edge on a little faster, and I think I can do I can deal with that. So we're gonna go ahead and switch that, and uh, maybe we can get some good laps in. Yeah, you can tell it, it turns better. Just immediately, you can tell it turns better. So I'm I'm happy with that change. Um, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, okay, I'm um, a fun little track. Oof. Ooh, yeah, that feels, uh, it turns so much better, I can, like, kind of go in a little harder, so you can already see I'm picking up on my all-time best lap, which is what I made in, uh, practice, practicing with the, uh, the baseline setup, so. That might help us a little bit, but, um, we're still, we still don't have a real setup, like something someone spent time on. Not to say that iRacing doesn't spend time on their default setups, but they're kind of made for the everyman instead of being accessible, or uh, instead of being, uh, you know, specifically crafted. So, you know, these aren't going to be the fastest setups ever, but I can tell it's much faster than uh, Ooh, much faster than that baseline thing I was running. I should have thought to put it on there. Yep, and I can't drive it the same way either. Thankfully that didn't count as an X. Yeah, that's just how I take the corner eye racing. Don't look. Don't look at me. <laughs> so, that's why I normally don't like switching. Last second. Now I'm liable to make these mistakes, but uh, I think the green flag, green I can flag. handle it, and I think the speed will be worth it. Hope that does not bite me in the end. Let's see if we can get a decent lap in. I don't think I'm very fast, to be honest, so probably not, but... You know, maybe we can make our way up the field just a tiny bit. I have to keep in mind we're going to have potentially some Mustangs flying in at a thousand miles an hour from behind. That's the fun of multi-class racing. So, um, we'll have to make room for them if they start coming on by. There's plenty of uh, these long straights here, so... That's where they're really going to make speed on us and probably eventually lap us, if I had to guess. So, the thing is with this is I can't 
turn it and gas it as hard as I would on that baseline setup. So that's where I'm really going to have to watch it. I have to be a little more careful. So that other one, it's kind of stable enough that uh, you can just gas it super hard and it won't turn around on you or anything. But uh, well, with this setup, it's a little more on edge and you can't just fling it in there quite the same. Or, you know, zoom out of the corners quite the same, I guess is what I'm trying to say. One more lap. All right, I'm pretty happy with that lap. It's obviously better than my all time, so. Ah, oh, why did I shift it first there? <laughs> Just done a I think we should be able to beat anyone else that might be on the baseline. Let's see though. Yeah, you can really fling it in there. There's a lot of speed to be gained here if I uh just learn this a little bit better. Boy, I'm glad I changed it, because, I mean, you just look at that. We're four-tenths on our best time right now, and that's already... We just set a best time last time around. faster with this setup in it looks like as long as I can handle it and I think I can I think I can should be able to hold it together famous last words so bringing it around for our second lap should be a good bit faster than our last lap there if only I didn't uh, overdrive that final corner, but should be okay. What we got? One four four nine. That puts us fifth, and we're pretty close to that top time. So, well, you know, relatively, much closer than I would have been otherwise. Um, pretty even with that number ten for now. They could still be doing laps too, so. Gotta keep that in mind, but uh, I was worried I would see like I was two seconds off or something, and that's not the case. So there's that at least. The Stay up here. Oh gone. no, we won't. <laughs> that's it. So we, I guess we just barely got that last lap in. Um, fifth place of the Mazdas. They'll stick those faster guys up in front of us. That's another thing too. Is uh, we qualified on. Our race fuel. One to go. Next time so line up on the left side. Close. Pit road is that's closed. interesting. Maybe we could have been faster. I couldn't have been faster, but a guy that knows how to control a car with less fuel in it probably could have been faster. Um, something interesting for a road series, you get rolling starts here. And uh, typically the uh, different classes will try to separate themselves. I don't have to. It's up to the discretion of the pulsator for each class, but they'll uh, typically try to leave some space so in case those Mustangs go into turn one and cause a huge mess, we'll be behind them for a bit. Uh, pretty exciting though. I've, uh, I really love these races. I think I'm finding out that I'm secretly a road racer. Because <laughs> boy, I guess uh, maybe it's just a uh, recency bias, but uh, coming from truck race at Kansas, just getting destroyed, that's not very fun. But uh, it's making me want to do more road racing. Then again, I could easily die here too. That's also possible. Let's hope not. Got a nice purple car over there. Everyone's kind of joining up. Cheers, Matt. You too, buddy. My volume right. Okay. Hell yeah, good luck, folks. Don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm one of five people from the United States in here. 
out of 29, I think, total. So that's something to keep in mind. We've got a uh, home server for some reason. I would think since we're in the minority, we would uh, not be on an English server, but it does not seem to be the case because we have the good pings. See here now, we're uh, letting the uh, Mustangs get out ahead a little bit. Good stuff. I'm cool with that. And now we're rolling. About to go green. Stay focused. Oh, about to go green. Really? Yeah, this is a weird start. <laughs> I don't think that's really how it's supposed to go. But I think they're going. I think I'm supposed to be racing right now. I don't know what that was. I'll be honest with you. I think that was kind of a botched start. I have no idea. But uh, I'm going to roll in here and hope that we don't get taken out. Stay on the left. Clear, right side. Clear. Ooh. Awkward place to be in. We're okay. That was surprisingly plain, actually. Okay, Colton. Decent start. Right side. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Kind of took it wide, but... On the you kind of do that in that corner. I feel like I did an okay job. They're kind of slow on that inside. I don't care what that that went. Got these long straights. Can't take the line I want to take because they're down over there. Alright, that went well. The guy on the outside looked like he backed off or something. I believe I left him room. I don't think that should have been an issue. Drive it in there pretty good. Seems like we're almost stuck behind these Mustangs. That's weird. They should run away once we get to this uh, front stretch, though. feeling good we got uh, some time behind us and it's growing because apparently we took that uh, final corner better than they did make sure we're taking this corner properly this is weird why are we passing the mustangs <laughs> they're supposed to be far ahead contact okay Leaving them plenty of room. Keep to the left. Stay on the left. Take that high line again, because that's where we are on the track. Still there, hold and we get a better run off, so I think that worked out for us. Clear on the right. Now, uh, make sure we don't run in the back of the guy in front of us, and make sure that we don't get hit from behind. I guess these Mustangs just have to take these uh, short corners really slow and it's making it to where we're actually faster. This is weird, man. Oh god, what's happening? That was weird. Okay, we avoided it somehow. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. I don't know where we are in the running lineup at this point. <laughs> I will find out here in a second. We had a pair of Mustangs spin it out in front of us. We're in third, but the guy up front's way out there. Took that wrong. Not 
too bad though. I mean, it was pretty bad, but <laughs> didn't make a mess. Um, well, that was strange. I'm glad we made it through whatever on earth that was. I accidentally shifted to first there. I think you want to go through there in second, but that's cool. It's cool with me. Maybe we can even catch that four car. I think this draft will be helpful. I don't even know if I want to pass this guy unless he's uh, much slower. really like that section. If you do it right, it feels really good. gaining on the guys behind unless I think something might have happened. I think 10 car was actually the one behind us. Ooh, he's like, ooh, sliding his tires. I don't think we're catching the four from where we are. that I swear to god <laughs> I just broke too late uh, <laughs> oops that makes me look pretty bad I just missed my braking there and the shot in a little too uh, a little too hard makes me look like I'm super aggressive which I was not intending to be from behind now making all these mistakes I don't think I'm actually as fast as uh, it's looking right now either I think uh, there's plenty of faster guys in here they just ran into some issues so have to keep that in mind as they run us down There, but I don't think it slowed him down at all. The leader has just done a 144.02. That lap was a 145.20. The guy behind has just done a 144.04. Alright. I keep cutting that too close to the inside. Don't think that's how I want to be doing that. We found a nice little niche here. Um, got some equal speed guy in front of us. And uh, the guys behind are a little faster, but I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. There's an incident in Hobbs. Mm, I didn't turn right or left. <laughs> I didn't turn correctly in the left hander there, is what I'm trying to say. He's diving it in way hard there for some reason, or maybe he was just bluffing to try to throw me off. Either way, I kind of just took it normally. I wasn't falling for it. Whew. Was just trying to sling it around. Pushing it up. A little harder each lap. 
getting those best lap times. Hard on entry there. Still didn't do that quite right. I really like to stay in second there because it helps the car turn so much better. But uh, you're right there on the limiter. So you gotta negotiate it and uh, know when to shift at the right moment. I haven't been quite doing it how I want the past couple of times, so gonna have to think about that as I'm trying to get through there. I'm gonna love to go back and uh, later and look at the incidents and see exactly what went down earlier. Touched him there. I didn't mean to get that close to him, but I think we just took that corner two separate ways. I think I'm too shallow on my entries. Gonna back it up a little bit. Or, you know, go a little wider. Focus on that runoff. bumper that's for sure is he taking a defensive line that's fine with me or maybe just breaking the draft all right well he dove it in there If we keep fighting for that. Alright. He took the dive. He can have it. I feel like we should be able to keep up with him. Maybe make a move later. That's why I'm not too concerned about it right this moment. Because uh, fighting side by side not only going to slow us down, but it increases the chance that something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> so... let him go. We'll follow him. Like I said earlier, I think he's pretty clearly faster anyway. He's got the I rating to suggest as much. I drove that one. Take the spot, jackass. Wide. Oh, we got angry people. Take the spot. <laughs> it uh, does get pretty maddening in this series because you got multi class, and so you got guys, uh, you know, they just got a slower vehicle. So you got guys getting mad about how to, no how to negotiate getting through there, and, you know, it's a whole, uh, it's a whole other skill set. Negotiating lap traffic and all that, so. there. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't seem to hurt him that bad. I just cooled his tires off. Probably helped him. Careful, Mustang man. Oh, I went wide. And I'm driving too hard. Just keep it between the lines. 
think maybe these uh, tires are getting a little worn too, maybe. Maybe that's uh, why I'm getting a little less grip than I'm expecting. Or I'm just missing my marks. That's also possible. Um, I heard the leader of our Mazdas here, he had a complaint for someone. Maybe that uh, Mustang up there causing some issues. I've been messing up turn one. Need to focus, get back to uh, good rhythm. Stop going off track too. So we're starting to lose them ahead of us. Very, uh, I'd be very happy if I finished fourth though. Top five is the number eight. And uh, just an eye racing setup, so it all sounds good to me. You seem to make up some good time right there. Oof. That wheel trying to be ripped off the desk because I'm turning the wheel so hard. Ooh, don't spin it. Cut it a little close to the inside there, so. And again, wow, okay. Apparently I gotta watch my rears, because apparently they're getting hot. Don't wanna spin it. I lost a ton of time there, unfortunately. <sighs> Man, you gain a little, you lose a little. The real talented guys are able to be just so consistent. They can be fast and consistent, and uh, I need some more uh, experience Fair under my belt okay. to be able to do that. Both those things. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> People are angry. Uh, we're not falling off, but we, uh, well, I mean, we are falling off, but we're not too much slower than these guys. But uh, we're going to lose touch if I can't uh, pick it up here. I wonder what happened to the... Uh... Oh, that's right. Okay, so... I was going to say, I wonder what happened to the number one Mazda, but that's not how these multi-class work. <laughs> Everyone gets ranked in terms of I rating, uh, regardless of what your class is. So the two, three, four guys in front of us are the top-ranked Mazdas here. As I take that, just wrong in every sense of the word. Oh my god. I'm all off, off rhythm. <sighs> the fatigue is setting in. These guys are going to be uh, battling here in a minute, though. Because it looks like that two car is catching up to the three. So that means we might be able to make up some ground. And though we, we, we're pretty far back at this point, they're in each other's draft too. So, yeah, it's, uh, I can feel the car getting lighter, and that's changing up uh, how the car feels. And uh, just trying to adapt to the new weight of the car as it's kind of shifting. Uh, not doing the greatest <laughs> at set adapting. It feels like I'm all over the place. But uh, as long as I can keep it on the on the track within reason, won't feel too bad. I think I want to be in second gear through there. I always shift to first there, but I think I want to be in second gear. 
it's easier to turn when it's in first, but uh, I think it's just faster to go ahead and figure out how to get it to turn instead of uh, getting the turn from the downshift. Missing marks still. We got a, uh, what's the purple again? Is that a solstice? Looks like we're gaining on them. We might have to find a way through past them. It's gonna require some care. Hopefully we catch them at a good spot. Uh, got the right sides off. Heard I run a little bit, but I still think I got through there pretty good overall. Tried to go through all there harder, but it was a bad idea, it looks like. Thought maybe I could push it a little harder, and even if I was wide, I'd be able to um, get the runoff, but it, I don't think that was what happened. I do believe we're catching the Pontiac at a bad time. <laughs> is he letting us go, or is he just taking our apex? Letting us go. Thank you, 14. Make sure we say thanks, because he hit the brakes for us and uh, let us go. Doesn't seem like he's racing anyone, so that was a kind, smart thing to do. Because he's not losing any time to anyone, but we sure are. By uh, if he were to take that apex, so for him to hit the brakes was um, him being aware of his situation, which is very, uh, very good to see. But uh, unfortunately, I'm doing plenty of losing time myself without any help. <laughs> so. I think we're just straight up not keeping up with those guys. The only way we're gonna, the only way we're going to catch up is if they run into each other. I think, which they might. They're fighting pretty hard. Yeah, I'm just having trouble adjusting to uh, these worn tires, the lighter weight of the vehicle. And uh, how to how to run with those uh, changes in place. I'm gonna go on the right. You can go to the right. Go to the left. Yeah, I just feel slower now. over rotated good I think we want to be doing a uh, session last lap now so I'll figure out how to get that up here in a second on the straightaway probably there we go now let's do session last lap there we go well, at least we know this lap was better than the one before it um, So as long as we get, uh, like, keep the pace we have, keep it at zero or nearby it, and I think we should be able to hold this spot and be in a position to potentially even uh, catch these dudes if they run into each other. I think it goes to show how much faster they are than I am that they can fight like this and still stay way up there. <laughs> Man, 
car doesn't turn in that uh, section anymore. I gotta remember to take it a little softer from now on. flag man is it time already all right well time flies when you have fun I guess well those guys uh, run into each other trying to get that runner up will we be there to take advantage through there halfway decent for once seems like a little uh, <laughs> a little too late After I lost time every lap doing it wrong time. Still was pretty slow though. Set ourselves up for this corner a little better than we have been. Wheel exploding from the pressure. Those guys don't wreck each other. They have a good race. And uh, we'll just go ahead and make our way past that line with a P4. P3 in the mod. Oh, no. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, P4. Andrew, that was a very fun ride for you. Make sure we don't bump into someone as we park it. How about right over here? Right, everything is on bar one. It was a uh, pretty good, pretty clean. Right. That was a pretty clean race. Not too much chaos. We got uh, P4 of the Mazdas, P5 overall, as we had. Uh, <laughs> so we actually beat two of the three Mustangs. I guess they had. Well, those must have been the guys spinning out, huh? <laughs> All right, I feel good about that. Plus, we were keeping up with those Mustangs pretty darn well. So that was interesting. Let's take a look at what happened out there. Oh yeah, that start was kind of weird. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, chopper's really far. That's good. Lap one. Ooh. Hit the guy on the outside and he kind of just came up on him. Didn't give him enough room. They're okay though. Until they're not. Oh, that uh, Diet Coke's going off the side. Oh, man. That uh, blue and yellow car, I'm not sure knows how to race side by side with someone. Although, no, I think that red and yellow car kind of stuck it in where he wasn't supposed to. These guys are just kind of trying to figure out where they are um, on the track and how to sort it out. Still on lap one, I think. That guy overdriving the corner and bumping into the guy in front of him. Is that me? Hold on a second. No, <laughs> it looks like me for a second. Kind of looks like a mixed game from the back. Here are the Mustangs. Taken out by a Mazda. Ooh, okay, yeah, this was that big mess. Good race, everyone. Sorry about that incident on lap two. Incident on lap two. Is this him? Yeah, he's apologizing right now for doing that. Were you, were you one of those Mustangs that was drifting all through those, uh, ghettos, <laughs> mate? Yeah, talking about it. <laughs> yeah, 
Well, we kind of broke and made our way around so we didn't damage ourselves. Thankfully, the guys behind us were careful. You know, I call it out whenever I see a Red Bull. They, they're normally a uh, bad sign, but you know what? This guy raced very well, and uh, he was considerate, so he did not follow that trend. He uh, hit the brake for us, gave room, and uh, we both made it through cleanly because of it. I almost kind of dove down, down on him, but I gave him the room, <laughs> enough room anyway. So that was, uh, that could have been so much worse. I think everybody navigated that pretty well overall. Even the guys that kind of tapped into it. You know, they were able to avoid too much carnage. So how many spots did we gain from this? I don't think too many. So we had the guy that caused the first caution up here. They just keep going. We got this guy. Gets run into and sent into the grass. So we did get past him, but then again we lost the spot to this guy. So we ended up in the same spot overall, I believe. Interesting. Oh boy, there's still after effects happening from that. So this red one, this red Mazda. Oh, he gets sent by that Mazda. Cuts in front of this one, and then he dodges right to get rid of him, and then he hits that same Mustang. What a comical set of events. So, it's funny. It's like instant karma. So watch this red and black car. He's the one that hits the Mustang that runs into him. So this guy goes over here, and then causes him to have to dodge, which causes him to run into the same Mustang, and he gets spun out. <laughs> That's like uh, full circle right there. They must have had too much damage to keep going though, or they had steering broken or something because they had to go in the pits. A dive and a half by red and yellow. Using uh, that number 7, or the number 18 rather, to turn. Probably just overdrove, probably didn't do it on purpose. Oh no, <laughs> Diet Coke! Oh my god, don't open that coke. Holy cow, that's spraying in your face if you do. Oh, <laughs> what a... What a full gainer. Oh, <laughs> wow. So he bounces off that wall. He's doing ballerina tricks. And then he gets hit by someone, doesn't he? Yeah, he had... <laughs> what a sight to see. So I feel like... Yeah, he probably had no idea what to do there. Really, that'd be really bad because there's no roof on this thing. It probably donks him on the noggin. Youch. What a crash. That is one dented can. More uh, Mustang problems. Mustangs did not have a good day. Ooh, we got a Jetta fight. Bumper tap, not too bad. That's the pace car, that's a funny scheme. We got the pace car racing out here. And racing, are they? Ooh. Kinda get together there. We got a Mazda coming in on the Jetta and kinda killing them. I think that was a case where the Jetta has to take that turn a lot slower than the Mazda, and so they just had trouble navigating that right. The yellow guy having issues off track. Is this the end of the race? Yep, that's all out there, it looks like. Now we just got guys being silly. <laughs> that looks like a real life, like, driving down a road and uh, <laughs> fish tailing. Like a real life accident. Oh no! Doing a uh, safety crash testing for the Volkswagen Jetta. But uh, that's it. That was a fun race. I love these uh, Simulab ones. I want to do more of these. And uh, it went pretty well for me. You know, fourth out of the Mazdas, fifth overall, and uh, clean race. Just had a couple of um, off tracks, I think that was, if I remember correctly. That or just uh, one tap while we were navigating those wrecks. So. Um, lots of fun. Lots of uh, clean racing. Uh, very nice.
Seems like this uh, series has got some good racers in it. Love to see it. Um, so, I'll see you next time. Um, maybe we'll do some more of these in the future. <laughs> see ya.